Okay, so we're going to go through the steps. Um, I'm going to go over here. Is it isolated? Is that yes or no? Yes? Okay. Then we're going to do our split. We're going to take that inside out. So we're going to have the negative 4q plus the 2 greater than or equal to 10. That's our first little split. And then our second split, the negative 4q plus the 2 less than or equal to the negative. Okay, so this is the flip. Okay. When you introduce the negative, you get your flip. I'm right now. Okay, now let's go back to the first one. Everybody see why we did the flip? Because we introduced that negative. Remember, negatives, when we multiply or divide with inequalities, causes that flip. Okay, let's go back to your green one. We're going to solve it. What's your first step? How about subtract? Okay, so that would give us negative 4q greater than or equal to 8. Now what? Divide by... That's not, this is not in the book, just what I showed you. Only this. You have to, you have to copy the notes. That's in there, but you, but that's not. You have to copy the notes now. <coughs> we divide, what are we doing? Dividing by what? Negative. negative four. Okay, so our Q, what happens when we divide by negatives? The sign, so this is going to get a flip. So this is going to become a greater than or equal to negative two. Now, let's come over and do our purple one. Same steps. We're going to subtract the 2. So we get negative 4q less than or equal to negative 12. And then we're going to again divide by the negative 4. Again, when we divide, what do we do? Flip. So it gets flipped to greater than or equal, and that would be a positive 3. All right, so now let's go to the number line and graph it. So I'm going to draw me a number line here. So my negative, two, I'm going to put zero in the middle. So let's put zero right there in the middle. So here's my negative two over here. My negative two going to be included in the open or closed endpoint. Closed endpoint. We're going to shade which direction? Less than is to the left. So we're going to shade to the left. And then I've got my 3 over here. Am I going to include my 3? So that would be closed. And greater than is where? Which direction? To the right. Okay. So does this one give me a disjunction or a conjunction? Disjunction. disjunction. So we would use which word? Or. So we would have Q less than or equal to the negative 2. Or Q greater than or equal to the three. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to ask myself that all important question, is your absolute value isolated? Yes or no? No, so we have to fix that. Okay, what needs to go over here? What needs to go? Yeah, the three needs to go, it is a denominator, we get rid of denominators by multiple. Yes, very good, thank you. So we'll multiply both sides by the 3. And we'll cancel out, which is what we want. So we're going to have the absolute value of 2x plus 7. Less than or equal to a 1 times 3, which would give us 3. Okay. Now what are we ready to do? You say flip or... We're not ready to flip yet. So we need to do something else first, which is what? Hmm? Huh? What are we supposed to do now? Okay, are we supposed to break it up into the positive and the negative? So we're going to break it into our positive. So we bring it out, so we get the 2x plus 7, less than or equal to the positive 3. And now we're going to come over here 
do the negative 2x plus 7, but now what do we have to do in this case? There's your flip. And that would turn it into a greater than or equal to 3. So now you've got your two separate inequalities, so let's solve them. Let's do our first one. What are you gonna, what's your first step here? So you get a 2x less than or equal to negative 4. Divide by your 2, so positive division, no change. So that will be x less than or equal to a what? Negative 2. Okay, we've got one of them. Let's come over here, the one that we flipped. Same steps. We have, again, we're just going to do it all over again. So we get 2x here, greater than or equal to, this time we get, oh, I didn't bring my negative in. Sorry, hold on, that negative 3. <coughs> Go make, make sure you have that negative 3 in there. Sorry, notice I didn't have it. Now we get greater than or equal to what? Negative 10. Again, we're going to divide by that 2. So x would be greater than or equal to negative 5. So here's our lower, our lower bound here, x less than or equal to negative 2, and x great, oh, sorry. I'm mistake, didn't I? You, this is your lower um, endpoint, the negative 5. So x is greater than or equal to the negative 5, and he's also what? less than or equal to the negative 2. Is that going to produce a conjunction or a disjunction? This is, all, this is going to produce a conjunction, so let's take a look. Okay, let's do our number line. Okay, let's put our 0 in the middle. So then we're going to have a negative 2. Let's put him on there. And let's put our negative 5 on there. So somewhere along there. Okay, let's start with negative 5. Open or closed endpoint? Open or closed endpoint? Closed. And we're going to go greater than. We're going to go to the we're going to go to the right. Now, you see what's going to happen here as you go to the right? What are you going to hit? You're going to hit that other endpoint, right? And your other endpoint is what? Negative 2. Is it included? It is included. So closed endpoint. In which direction would you go? To the left, so you see they're melding together there, right? They come together. So this is the this is the conjunction right there, the mix of the two. Okay. So how would we rewrite this? Write this as a conjunction. So this would be what? Negative five. Less than or equal to the negative 2. So this is our conjunction. 